you're Jewish and wondering how to get started doing this Shabbat thing, or maybe you're not Jewish and you want to better appreciate what your friend is up to or why your coworker leaves early on Fridays, let's look at two things, why people do Shabbat and how. Okay, so why? It's the single most important building block of living a Jewish life, according to pretty much everyone. The Torah explains in chapter one that God created the world in six days and on the seventh day ceased from creating. So to mark that and appreciate creation, Jews cease creating things as well. We live life in the realm of space, going places, making things, buying and fixing stuff. We have to focus on the physical world on a day-to-day -day basis and sure, we can do it mindfully. But Shabbat is a maneuver into the world of time. Letting go of making and buying and fixing is entering what Rabbi Abraham Joshua Heschel famously called a palace in time. It's hard to set aside the phone, the email, the cleaning, the errands, but that's the whole point, to set aside the time for something holy. It not only connects you to God, but also to yourself and the whole of the Jewish people. It creates a rhythm to life with the seventh note of rest time. Now, to the how. People talk about Shabbat being a day of not working or a day of rest. Jewish tradition actually defines 39 categories of creating-ish work, planting, building, hoisting stuff around, that you're supposed to refrain from on Shabbat. And traditionally observant Jews extrapolate from that to mean no emails, no errands, no driving, cooking, or using technology. It's more than what's not done. Making Shabbat, or as you might hear it said, keeping Shabbos, means making sacred time. People bring in Shabbat by lighting candles at sundown and go from a dinner with challah and wine and singing to a morning maybe spent at services hearing about the Torah portion to a big lunch with friends or a picnic in the park. There are naps and strolls around the neighborhood, books, tech study, games, lots of low-key pastimes. It ends at nightfall on Saturday with a candle putting out ritual called Havdalah. There are tons of ways to celebrate Shabbat. And if you want to know more specifics about challah, candles, or songs, or how to say some of the blessings, we have plenty of resources for you. Heschel said that things do not lend significance to a moment. It is the moment that lends significance to things. Taking a day to live this way can bring a sense of wholeness, or in Hebrew, shalom. So let's end with a wish for Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom.